Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is going to be probably the hardest challenge I've ever put on YouTube, let alone done in my entire life. I'm gonna be doing a 24 hour challenge where I am in the water and I'm alone. There's gonna be no food, no water. And let me just show you the temperature of the pool. It's 72 degrees, 73, 72 and 73. So yes, that may look warm, but let me just briefly explain this as well. So when water temperatures say between 60 and 70, it is not like the outside air temperature it is 10 times colder don't ask me any kind of science related things because I'm not gonna know now guys before we get this video started I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor and the first video sponsor I've ever had in my life Samarpo they are a triathlon company that has dedicated their lives to making the best gear possible so that you can perform at your best and succeed whether you're a triathlon athlete or just a regular amateur athlete like myself it's great it works for both worlds now as you guys can see they have a wetsuit and actually they have multiple wetsuits as well as multiple other products so if you guys want to do me a favor go to the first link in the description they will be right there or just type in samarpo.com order anything off their website and then at checkout use robbie 15 to get 15 percent off your order now what's actually really cool about this wetsuit is that it's a three millimeter which is the normal average wetsuit so you don't really have to worry about anything because you could use it in tropical waters as well as the colder waters that i'm about to jump in but anyways guys i want to let you guys know that this product here is insane let me get in the water first <laughs> Oh my god, it's freezing. So guys, now that we're in the water, I just want to make sure that we actually get this 24 hour thing set up before I forget. We can go to 23 hours and 59 minutes. 23, almost 24 hours on the dot here, okay? So first off guys, I do want to say that this wetsuit is literally the best wetsuit I've ever tried on in my life. Not only was it super easy to get on, super easy to zip up, but it's stupid flexible. Like I can't do this with my other wetsuits. I just can't, it's physically impossible. So that's also a difference between a triathlon wetsuit and a scuba wetsuit. Scuba wetsuits, you're not really doing a whole lot of swimming, you're just kicking, but I will say this, this is still a wetsuit. So it is still the same maintenance, but it also is still the same materials as well. So I just want to say thank you for Samarpo for sponsoring this video because this honestly is the best wetsuit I've ever tried on. It's the best wetsuit I've ever had. And guys, if you ever want to go scuba diving, I highly recommend just going with one of these. Super flexible, breathable, and honestly, it's really comfortable. Which by the way, if you guys didn't know, the way a wetsuit works is it lets water inside. So it's your body, it's a thin layer of water, and then it's the neoprene wetsuit. Right now, there's no water in the wetsuit. So right now, I'm just feeling it on my feet, and that's it. But I do feel the cold sensation from my waist and below. But right now, we're gonna try and keep the core as warm as possible because we just started this. I do wanna mention here that I'm not some biased person that's trying to get you to buy a wetsuit. I wanna say this, I am a certified rescue diver from Patty. okay? You can see here, it's real. Another thing is, I've dove the USS Vandenberg in Key West. I've dove the Okinawa. I think this was also in Key West. And I got a bunch of dive records. Like, it's at least 100 or more. So yeah, I'm pretty experienced. This is going to be a really long challenge. So long. And it's already hot. But I don't want to get my head all wet. Because if that happens, then I will seriously go into hypothermia. And I'm not trying to do that today. This is actually really cool. That this suit is this flexible. Because I would not have been able to do this with the other ones and like no water's getting in, so I'm super warm right now, which is great. To me, I like that way better. I know a lot of people want the water in first to get it warmed up, but I'm gonna be real with you, no. So, I will say this. I think I will be f good for at least the first like five hours, because I'm usually good in the water. I do love water, but this water's really cold. And I literally just touched my fingertip to it, and it was freezing. I think I'll be fine, as long as I keep this steady pace. I was only 30 minutes in, and I could already tell I severely underestimated how difficult this challenge would be. So guys, obviously staying in the water for 24 hours is actually really dangerous. So to keep my feet safe, I'm literally going to limit myself to the steps. So at least that I can prop up and just have my, my butt in the water, have my legs here or whatever side I want. And then obviously I'm not gonna have my hands in because it's freezing. And look at this, I got my little cheerleader over here. It has officially been a little over an hour Hour. Just another 23 to go, you know, no big deal, right? Just listening to my neighbor, Arlon, for the next two hours. She's already been moaning for literally an hour and a half. 
At this point in time, I already had been in this wetsuit for a couple hours, and the fatigue got to me way quicker than expected. So I'm almost four complete hours into this challenge, so only 20 more. As you guys can see, I'm done at almost 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. I still got Cody here. He's been literally just like back and forth, literally everywhere. Literally my ride or die. But as you guys can also see, I'm in the shade now. Like it's the sun's gone down that much. So it feels great now because before I was like too hot and I was also too cold at the bottom like from my waist down And now I'm just like I'm actually at perfect temperature like I was sweating so bad I can still feel my toes. It doesn't even look like my toes are wrinkly Which is actually really surprising being in water for four straight hours But then again, just like I told you guys before I was gonna leave my feet on that and that works for a little bit I'm doing well I'm just really hungry well, a little bit of an update. My stomach is starting to hurt a little bit, not gonna lie, not feeling too good. But another bad thing is, Coda has left the premises, so I'm out here literally by myself. So my security, my medical, and my supervised dog is gone. One thing I'm really noticing is that this wetsuit is actually not constricting a whole lot of anything, and it's been roughly five hours. And uh, it's quite interesting, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. It's like the only tightness I can feel is like around my neck, but like it just feels like I just have a really tight blanket around me. I just like, I'm bored, like I don't know what to do. And what I should have done before I started this video was get some toys or something. Cause I've been on my phone for the past five hours. I also took like a little 30 minute nap. This sucks. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so it's a, just a little after 5 p.m. I got roughly 18 hours to go. As you guys can see, I'm shaking a little bit. Obviously, the sun's gone down. I'm getting cold, like actually really cold. Something that's really scaring me right now is that, I don't know if you guys can see the sky, but it's, it's getting a little hazy. I'm really hoping it doesn't rain because obviously I got that camera there. So hopefully everything's gonna be A-OK, -okay, but I'm just really hungry and tired. It's not the latest I've ever not eaten, so I'm not like too worried. I'm not lightheaded or anything either. I don't know if that's just the cold weather and like the tight bodysuit. I gotta get my blood pumping now. <laughs> the sun is totally covering my clouds. I think they're home. I think my parents are home. Hello. Well, hello. Have you been sleeping in the water here all day? No. Hey, can I get some food around six? Do me a favor. Bring that inside. Food. Koda, leave my food alone. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Koda, off. Oh my god, it looks so good. All right, that was hands down. Literally, the best meal. Koda, here you go. I'm so proud of you for staying by my side for today. So as you guys can clearly see, it is getting to the point of darkness. So I also got to conserve these batteries a lot because especially this one here, because this one's recording a lot of it, because I can't get out of the water and get new batteries and my parents are about to go to bed in like two hours. I'm exhausted. It, it's weird because my arms are hurting more than my legs and maybe that's just because I'm not putting them in the water and not extending them. Right now I have 15 and a half hours remaining. So maybe when it gets to be around two or three a.m then I'll pick one of these cameras back up and we'll go from there also I don't know how I'm gonna go to sleep we don't have any floaties they've all popped and are so old that they won't hold air and I'm not about to drown tonight so there's probably gonna be no sleep if there is sleep then I'm guessing where I was just like propping up my feet so maybe just lay down on the first step and then I don't know how to sleep I mean I'm, I'm most likely not gonna sleep at all then I'm just gonna sit here bored and listen to crickets and uh, bats fly around and then probably mosquitoes too as you guys can see, I was getting pretty bored. My mood kept getting worse and worse. So I literally just sat there in the water for the next couple of hours. All right guys, so it's almost 2 a.m. As you guys can see, um, I have pretty much like nine hour mark. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's hard. So before my parents went to bed, I asked them to get my little spotlight for my camera here, because obviously otherwise you guys wouldn't be able to see me right now. So yeah, we're vibing. One thing I definitely knew before it was gonna get dark was sleeping arrangements because like I said we don't have floodies or anything so I'm 5'11 there's not really a huge spot where I can just stretch out right so literally this has been me for the past uh, I would say three hours feet have been really dry actually because I've been keeping them like up here water's right here the thing I'm fearing the most if I do fall asleep which is not possible I haven't been able to is that like if I fall asleep 
and I turn the wrong way or I slip, I'm in the water and I am screwed. Uh, Cause like obviously the, there's no sun out, it's nighttime, so like it's super, super cold now. So yeah, not a fun time. Don't ever recommend doing this. Also, I'm not gonna lie, the pool looks a little scary at night. Like I said, I mean, look, literally look how much room I have. My, my butt's literally hanging off halfway. All right guys, so what I'm just gonna do now, I'm gonna just try and maybe get like a little nap and just like fall asleep on the concrete and like head on the concrete, not getting out of the water, obviously. I'm gonna get this. And oh, now there's a little breeze going. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, boys. Look at that. Almost made it. 7.20 in the morning. So just if you're wondering, no, I have not gone to bed yet. I am absolutely exhausted. All right, guys, we're about to be one full hour remaining. And we're one full hour remaining. So it's a nice and sunny day again, which is great. Coda came out. Um, so I did mochi over here. I'm literally just ready to get out of this water and get out of this wetsuit. 24 hours in the pool. Stepping out. I'm done. I'm going to bed. Subscribe.